Hi, I'm Susie. I applied full coverage tips about a week ago. And sometimes when they grow out, the cuticle's a little bit rougher, especially if you're trying something new. I thought you may experience this problem. So I wanna show you how you can file these nails without filling them to make them look fresh and new with just a couple of tricks. Once you remove the design, you can see how rough it is. But what if you have no time for a fill? Let me show you a couple of things you can do to disguise that grow out and make them look fantastic. Let's complete the look with hollow taco. Let's get started. I'm listening to your requests. My monomers and powders are now sold separately at nailcareer.com. This is a service I would do all the time for my clients. We'd actually have it on the menu. And it's about 10 or $15, and we call it a mini manicure cleanup. So I would use a hand file or an e-file. I use an e-file. And I would just do it on a low speed, and I would just remove whatever's on there. And I'll just show you, if you remove just the cuticle area, cuticles is one of the hardest areas on the nail to master. So if your cuticles are a little rough a week or so after the grow out, don't be hard on yourself. That's to be expected, especially when you're trying to learn it. The idea is we want to smooth out the cuticle that was harder to get me because it was too close to the cuticle at the time. So when it grows out a little bit, you can get at it a little bit better. When I was first learning, I would literally do a new set of nails and then invite the client to come back about 10 days after, week to 10 days, and I would offer them a free manicure and that way I could check my work. So I'm giving them a free service, but it would also be able to check my work and I would catch anything that I missed the first time around or any little snags, because that could be really irritating. Okay, so I have just kind of buffed the cuticle that didn't need a whole lot. Sometimes it's just a skim across can make it look so much better. And if you have done a lot of work, like look at these nails, right? There's a lot of work that went into them with the nail art and everything. So sometimes you don't want to get rid of all that nail art, especially after a week, if the cuticles are just kind of ratty. You can just sort of fix it by just going in this little area here, especially if it's an ombre or something, you can really do this, really fake this area, and it won't affect the rest of the design. I'm just getting a chance to smooth it out now because it's a little bit further away. And this is especially great if you are learning how to do any type of nail, gel, hard gel, hybrid gels, acrylic, and even these tips, okay. So if we get a little look-see at it, you can see and feel it's much, much smoother. So you can take the whole design off and redo it, or you can even just work with this. You can literally take a bunch of glitter and fill it in here. You could paint a black line going all the way around here to look like it's part of the design. There's lots of things you can do to sort of disguise that look. Now let's see how these are looking because I don't do these all the time, and I certainly don't do them with gel very often at all. That's the full coverage tip applied with gel. I really don't do those much at all. When I do them, I do them with acrylic, and it is quite different. I'm just kind of filing through those decals, and sort of smoothing it at the same time. Let me try another bit. So this step isn't necessary. It's only if you want to change the nail art on the tip. It's kind of a cheat, really, because everything else might be fine. And even this is a time where you can go underneath and get anything out, especially to get the client to come back and you can check your work. That's one reason why I would do that, because I'm able to check my work. They're coming back for a nice free service. I get to know them a little bit more. And then I can fix anything that I might have missed. I mean, they might not even have caught it right away. So I'm really trying very carefully not to file into the tip because I don't want to replace the tip. I just want to remove that thin layer of gel. So I'm just being very, very gingerly with it. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It's nice and smooth, but I can make it even smoother. So just give me a minute, I'm just gonna file off this gel so we can get a good look underneath what's going on. I'll leave the design on the thumb so I can show you how you can keep the pattern in the design. We're just targeting the cuticle area on that one. But these ones, I'm gonna take all the polish off. The whole design. So 
So I'm going to get the two so we can get a really good look. And it's going to vary for everybody. It could be more lifted than this. It could be less lifted than this. It just depends on how you did it and the mood you were in that day and how detailed you got. So once I've got all the gel off, I can get a really good look. So don't write your nails off if you got the cuticles are a little bit rough or even a lot of bit rough. You can fix that now and then polish it over to sort of cover it. That's what can buy you some time between fills. This has only grown out about a week. So if I push my cuticles back just a little bit more... Now it looks like about a week and a half, just that one finger, you can see the diff. But the reason why I did that is because so we can get a little more nail estate and a little bit more room in between the file and the cuticle. I'm gonna move the tube for a sec. Now I'm gonna show you with an e-file and with a hand file. I mean, e-file just makes it easier. And if you've got clients and you're doing them back to back, then it's much quicker, of course. But if you're doing this at home and you've just got a hand file, then you wanna go like this and flip your hand over, pull your skin back, and sort of go as close as you can without cutting, but it's gonna be easier now than the first time you did it because the, it's grown away from your cuticle. This is a technique. And with like anything, it just takes some time to get it. So I am just going in with that hand file, just trying to file it out as smooth as I can, any lifted, or bulky spot. I will be honest, you can do it with a hand file, but it's a little bit harder than an e-file. But not everybody has an e-file. Now, I will say, you can do this at a week or two. You can even buy some time on a three week grow out. You can do a little mini manicure and buy some time, but it really depends on how long your natural nail bed is, or your nail plate, and how much the fake nail is hanging on to that natural nail. That's the trick. So for someone having a much smaller nail plate, if it grew out there, this could be a third of their grow out of the size of their nail plate. You know what I mean? We're kind of getting into it here, but if I have a little short nail bed and or nail plate and my nails grow fast, it could grow off in two weeks. But if I have a longer nail bed and my nails grow really slow, I could go quite a few weeks before it starts to really grow off. So it just, it's so personal, right? So you just try to file this little lifted edge out and make it as smooth as you possibly can. The trick is not to file your cuticle and that's why you didn't maybe do it the first time because it's hard to get in between that. That's why this company in particular says leave a hairline um, space between. Now, when you're doing acrylic nails as a, an artist, a custom building a nail, we try to get as close as possible without touching. That's the whole goal. Like I say, cuticle work is one of the hardest things about the entire nail to really master. But once you get it, oh man, it's like gold. So that's looking better. Let's get a little duster so we can clean it out to see. This part is really a smooth transition, but this part here you can still see is lifted a little bit. Same with that side. So it's just persevering and trying to make it as flush as you can. When you're filing, you're filing on the product, not the natural nail. Just make sure that you're doing that. You're filing on the product, not on the natural nail. Like I say, this is easier with a drill. And of course, you know, when I do my videos, I'm doing education and talking and, and sort of sharing with you the tips that you can do to make this technique work for you. So it's gonna take longer. If I stopped talking and just do it, I'd be done by now. <laughs> but you know, talking is a great way for me to communicate. <laughs> so it may seem like a long time, but honestly, this is a fantastic technique to do for clients just to get a real smooth cuticle in between fills. Just makes it look really smooth. I'm actually liking that. Okay, so now I need a smoothing file. We took a before and after, so we'll be able to show you up close the difference that this is going to make. Now we're putting nail polish on these long nails. I've got some special polish to put on to give them a nice finish. So I'm gonna put some oil on here and show you how good this looks. So I'm gonna take the dust off and I am gonna put some alcohol in there to take all the dust away. And then I'm gonna drop some cuticle oil in there 
massage it in and show you how much smoother we're looking at now and how we just gave it basically a facelift. That'll be a smooth application, smooth transition now for that nail polish or gel polish, whatever you're using. And you can see the difference, see this liftedness? Look at that rough cuticle, the pinky's rough, but look how much smoother that made it, right? That just sends them on their way and they got another two or three weeks, maybe four or five, with a beautiful cuticle and they won't catch on things. Cause like I say, the cuticle's hard, you guys. Don't be hard on yourself. The cuticle is tough. So I'm gonna file those up with the e-file, show you what that looks like. So this is an e-file bit and this little guy really gets in there. So a tip for anybody using an e-file, whether you're a nail technician or a DIY, make sure you don't go in this with a point, keep it parallel, keep it level. And when you go into that cuticle, you're just taking away any guy that's lifted, anything that's a problem, but you're doing it in a flatter sense. You're, you're more parallel to the nail, like this way. You're not taking it in as a point. It feels like you want to do that, but that really is the wrong way to do it because now you're just going to have little divots. And what you want to do is we're really just smoothing it out so it's smooth like that, not little holes all around. Okay, so I'm going to just clean up all these cuticles and then I'm going to polish them and show you how beautiful they look. And then I'm going to drop some oil on the cuticles and then I'm going to massage it in. Then we're going to polish them and give them a fresh new look just a week to 10 days in. I recommend this after every new set that you do. Okay, I'm going to go wash. So this is where it's really gonna shine all the work that you just did, how you're gonna really benefit from having a mini manicure. I'm gonna put some polish on. Christine loves her hollow. So if I was to put this kind of color near the cuticle with all that rough cuticle, it would look like a horrible mess. But this now is beautifully smooth. Just gorgeous. I've never used this color before. This is one of her newer collections that she just released. Nail polish dries via the air, so don't waste any time during application. You sort of get used to that with gel, don't you? You can take as much time as you want, but that is beautiful. Okay, so let's try this color. I haven't seen these colors on yet, so I'm quite excited to try them. I'm gonna do this beautiful green. Does she name them? Yes, of course she does. Mint Mojito. Okay, I'm gonna paint, I think, the free edge a bit more first. Because like I say, it is nail polish. It's meaning to dry rather quickly. I don't want it to be drying as I put it on, so I'm trying to work quickly. Yep. Just scoop it up. Use your nails as tools. <laughs> That's a rule we always say as nail technicians, is don't use your nails as tools, but I often do, don't tell my friends. Okay, so now I'm gonna try this blue color. Oh, I wanted to mention this cuticle is a little bit rougher. This cuticle didn't, when I first did this, you should check out the video actually, when I put these gel tips on, I was really kind of learning this particular method as I go. And I pressed down, my, my problems were too much product inside the nail and I pressed down too hard. This was my one of my first nails that I did, and I pressed down too hard. So it literally is over top of my skin a little bit. But you can see I disguised it pretty good. It's all about smoke and mirrors. If you're not super good at it, there's lots of tricks you can do to cover it up to make it look like you're good at it. Okay, now that blue is gorgeous. Now I'm gonna try the purple. Oh my 
goodness, those are beautiful. I love those colors. Okay, so if you're interested, this is the Holo Taco Pastel Rainbow Collection. Beautiful. I have this one too. So I didn't put that one on, of course. I only got four fingers. There's lots of colors, so. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna do a second coat, and then there's another little trick you can do with the cuticle. If you're still not liking the way the cuticles are, you can literally cover them up. Okay, I like these way more than I thought I was going to. They're absolutely gorgeous. And talk about a lot of nail estate. And I apologize, Christine, because I'm putting these on fake nails, and I know you're more all about natural nails, but they are stunning. I actually love nail polish on fake nails because it comes off way easier. You don't have to file it all off. It um, maybe doesn't last the wear and tear through drills and everything on you, but sometimes gel doesn't either. These are gorgeous. Okay, so if you're not liking the look of the nail polish around the cuticle area, there's another little trick you can do. These turned out super smooth, so I probably don't need to do this, but if you didn't have time and you didn't want to buff away all the cuticle area and go through the steps that I just showed you, you could do this or even this as well. Get yourself some sparkles. So these look pretty good to me. You could pretty much almost leave them. I see a little divot there I don't like, and it's not perfect here, but they really actually do look pretty good. We smooth them off pretty good. You can do this with nail polish or gel polish, either or. I'm gonna get a little bit of top coat, which could be gel or nail polish. I'm gonna get a little tiny brush, and I'm going to put a little bit of top coat in here. This is called Polish Secure. Now this is probably a pretty fast drying top coat, so you wanna work quickly. I'm gonna get a little bit of Mylar glitter. What I'm doing is covering the problem area with a little shiny thing. The top coat is drying already. Now it is really hot. We're going through a heat wave up here, aren't we, Garamad? Yeah. <laughs> Barely keep my uh, makeup on and not getting too hot. So I'm gonna reapply that nail polish. I just put another little dollop there and I'm gonna add some more Mylar glitters. These are really pretty pieces. So it's drying as I do it, so I just have to move on the quicker side. When you do this with gel polish, it's much more forgiving, of course. There is no time frame. So you can just do as much as you feel it needs, right? Ever which area you're trying to cover. Now this is not gonna add any strength. This is just aesthetically trying to get you away from the fact that you need a fill, right? I mean, you can just see it's it's actually really very pretty, but it also covers that area that maybe a little tiny gap that's looking a little bit, you know, empty. You can just fill it with that. So also don't fall into the pattern of maybe trying to um, fill in that area with a little bit of depth with gel polish in particular because it's too thick to cure. If you're gonna do that, you really just need to give yourself a fill and use some hard gel or hybrid gel or whatever you're using. Okay, so I am just gonna top coat this. Remember the thumb when we wanted to keep the design, we didn't wanna take it all off, but we really didn't like our rough cuticles. So I just fixed the thumb and just buffed the cuticle, but I left the design on but now we're missing the design. What we can do is, if you don't feel like glitter, you can take a color of gel polish. Now you can do this with nail polish, but it's probably gonna dry up before you really get a chance to finish the painting it. So I would recommend doing it with gel polish. And I did this originally with gel polish. I'm just going to paint the cuticle area in. It's kind of a design, a trendy design that went around. I don't know who thought of it but it's kind of neat. Maybe that's why they thought of it, was to covering up a fill that they were trying to, you know, cover up. They didn't have any time to fill it. Maybe this is how it was invented. So you just want to fill this area in with a color. I will say the darker the color certainly does have its advantage of hiding any type of indentation when a fill is needed. So it depends on how fancy you want to get. I mean, you could paint all the way around, you could do some line work, whatever you want. So nobody would be the wiser if you were trying to cover up a fill simply because this is an actual design that people use. Look at that, that looks really pretty. 
So simple as that. You can just do that little trick. Like I said, you can do some extra work on there. But nobody would think anything of it because it is actually a very beautiful style. Okay, I'm going to top coat these and nuke that. Let's check out the reveal shots. This is a great service to offer your clients to buy that extra week. Saves them a little money and a little time. And if you're doing this yourself, it's a great tip to do at home as well. If you want to see these nails, I had a lot of fun applying them just about a week before I did this video. Check it out. Oh. 